better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Yo, don't hate the play, I hate the game. Today, we're at a random skate park in a random field in a random town. Not really, I've been here before. It's right next to a farm and a dairy farm and a cattle farm. So it smells cows and livestock. If you know what that smells like, you know what it smells like. If you don't, we don't have smell vision these days. We're not that quite up on the technology, but we're just out here skating. Haven't skated in a month and a half. If you really wanted to know, <laughs> I've been really battling skating lately, mentally, because skateboarding is 50-50. Yeah, I, I feel mostly mental and physical, and I realized what my problem was. So the whole entire summer, and now it's fall, it's actually September, almost October. The whole summer I've been skating skating with my trucks loose. And I realized today when I got on, my knee hurt, so I got my beefy knee brace on and a bunch of other equipment that I need to skate because I'm old. I tightened up my trucks and I know I just I feel way better. I can flip. I didn't really haven't tried it, but I just flung it. I flung a 360 flip. I nolly flipped pretty good. I switch flip like second try. I finger flipped the way that I skate. This is the way I skate. I finger flip first try. Uh nolly finger flip first try. So we'll just get into it, get a little warm-up session, see what it's popping off the whole time I forgot to hit record so let's do this one more time uh. <laughs> alright we recorded that one I'm almost 39. Turn 39 next month, so there's no excuses to get outside and do something. You know, even if you just walk, run, play baseball. There's a lot of baseball fields out here. See, I gotta wear this gnarly knee brace today. Boom, you hear it? It's like a robot leg. I think I'm gonna start wearing this for a while. My Legs been bothering me for a minute. Oh no, it feels good right now. According to Matthew, I don't skateboard, I tech deck. Comment the other day on a little short post that I put put on YouTube. I found some old footage of me skating this spots at a stadium high school in Tacoma where I live. I don't live out here. Guy's name was Matthew. I deleted the comment, but I should have screenshot it and left it up here somewhere. But he was trying to tell me just because I finger flip and do my Skateboarding my way, I don't skateboard at Tech Tech. Well, guess what? We're just out here doing our own. I'm not trying to be Nigel Houston. I'm not trying to be, you know, a pro skater. I skateboard for fun. I like filming. I've been filming since <clears throat> VHS tapes. I was bringing the, my grandpa's big VHS recorder out. So I've been filming skateboarding and filming stuff like this for at least 25 years before YouTube even existed so you know <clears throat> I skate the way I skate you should skate the way you skate and uh, again don't hate to play or hate the game he was just probably I don't know people are like that sometimes sometimes people uh, compare me to Mike V I guess a tech deck um, that's not what your mom told me last night though that's a joke so we're just gonna keep skating and have fun I like the Mike V one though. The Mike V comparison is fuck it, that's cool. Ugh. 
That was almost first try. All right, this is what happened when I was skating. I'm gonna try to land the trick still, but come on, man. This happened to, I was skating some S's skateboarding shoes. If you don't know, S, E, E, S, S, it's a brand. If you don't know, now you know. So I had, favorite shoe of all time, half cab. Skated some S's just because I wanted to try them out. I skated the same pair before. And the other day, I was just wearing them casually around the house, around the yard, just, hanging out actually I was in the garage cutting screens for screen printing that's what I was doing and I have I have some half cabs that I washed I only wore them a, I skated them a couple of times and then they're starting to hurt my feet so I got different insoles and I cleaned some screens in them so they were all dirty so I sprayed them down with some oxyclean I cleaned them up I washed them now I'm waiting for them to dry I got some new shoelaces some new insoles but I found these ones on my shelf because I have a thing with shoes I have so many shoes, I could wear a different pair of shoes every day for a month, different ones. I used to, I don't know, I get it from my mom, my mom's the same way. Skating out here, look at this, what happened. I don't even know how many times I skated these shoes, but look, what is going on? What is this, why, why did this happen? What is this, this happened on the S ones. I should have, on the heel, not even skating, just walking, the heel came off. Came off. So I get like skating or whatever, but I haven't skated these ones in a while. It has been chilling and I've ha haven't had them for a long time. What is going on with sh shoes these days, man? Are just, oh. I think they went downhill, the making of shoes. It's just downhill, cause this never happened. I've, I've skated vans my whole life and this has never happened. What is going on? I think they just cut in corners. I think that's what they're doing. They're cutting corners making skate shoes for cheaper and cheaper trying to cut down on material and it just looks horrible so maybe that's why it felt weird skating holy cow i want to land the trick well i did something you know maybe it's just me because i was talking about the dude leaving a rude comment but that was just my thoughts about it and i wanted to get it out that's not on didn't happen on this side and this is I'm regular I'm not regular but I'm goofy footed what is going on this one take because I'm goofy footed this is the right foot this takes more this shoe takes more abuse come on I don't I don't know I might try it one more time I don't even know because it feels weird it feels like my foot's hanging out the side and I'm not about that life I like to look fresh even though that I'm in skate clothes so obviously this is not my car it's my girlfriend's car uh, I don't know if I said it earlier, but she yeah, she's up here working and I'm up here driving our car to uh, the skate park We went there, but the whole point of me I wasn't trying to be rude or anything calling these people out the one thing that I absolutely do not like I call them lemmings if you know about that game It's an old it's an old Macintosh game for the Apple computer a long long time ago on if you we're an Apple user since uh, the gray Max with the green, the black. It's an old game. It's a really old game. And basically the game is you're these little mole rats down below and you are following, you know, the one leader. You're underground trying to get up the ground. You fall off the cliff. Everybody else follows and falls off the cliff. You know, you got to make sure that you're not going to fall off the cliff or get stuck in a dead end. It happened to me a while back. I don't know, I'll link the video down below if you really want to watch it about me getting kicked out of the skate shop long time ago okay those people are the rudest people ever in the world uh and now their skate park skate shop is closed down it's been closed for a while now whatever they were cool but they weren't cool because you know people act like your friends and then get jealous and talk bad about you behind your back same with these people leaving these crazy rude comments on things you don't know bro i skate the way i skate you know read the bio you feel me i i can skate normal i like skating i like doing no complies and finger flips and being different and not a fugazi like most of these people out here these days are a bunch of fugazi people and i'm sick of it you know so i i i, I used to skate with this one dude i thought he was my homie and um you know he still hung out with these the thing is bro you know what i don't want to hear about these people i don't want to be involved with these people I don't even want to, you know, be in the same vicinity as these people because 
they get me so mad to the point where I just want to start cracking people's skulls and just start knocking people out and I don't like feeling like that and I get angry very very quick sometimes and I I think it's because you know I, I don't know what it is well I used to take Adderall back in the day when I was in elementary school because I was diagnosed with ADHD or ADD I just used to get mad real quick and hanging out with these people that talk bad about me and just were rude about rude about things and try to put the blame something happened so if you want to watch the video that I talked about it what happened you know this homie I had a you know I still skated with him from time to time but you know what he he kept on kept kept on you know talking about these people and at the point it's it's it felt like you know when you are have it, we're just gonna base it off relationship like a girlfriend boyfriend type of situation so you have an ex-girlfriend ex-boyfriend don't matter what you're into be into what you are be yourself that's what I'm saying people get mad when you're yourself so it's like you're you're friends with this person still that's friends with your ex still you see what I'm saying you still want to be friends with this person that's friends with your ex but every time you hang out with them, whatever you do, skateboard, ride bikes, you know, just shooting the shit with him, just hanging out, you know, and you want to be friends with him. But every time you hang out with him or her or whoever that's still friends with your ex, every time you hang out with him, they talk about him. You know what? And at that point, and I told him, bro, I, I didn't say anything, but I said, you know, this guy that won the skate shop, I don't even know why I'm talking about it because I had to block this dude and unfriend him and do all these things because I was it's every time I saw his post I know it's weird but every time I saw his post I used to just get frustrated you know what so my thing to keep my sanity and the way that I just want to be focused on I haven't posted a YouTube video in a minute but stay focused on you know skating making beats making t-shirts you know putting them on the website doing my own thing and staying in my own zone I, I can't and then I have, you know, I don't want to get rid of Facebook, but I kind of like having Facebook, but I don't. I, to showcase the items that I make, even though that, I, you know, I make, you know, stuff on the website, www.forevercrusaders.com. But I'm saying, I don't want to see your post anymore. I don't want you to even message me, because every time you message me or send me stuff, it's some stupid, you know, elementary school, middle school you know little boy stuff and I, I don't want to I'm not saying yeah I've seen me funny things but it's every single time and that gets annoying after a while and me hearing about these people every time we hook up and go skate you know what I I, I don't want to hear it because at that point I'm I'm to that I'm that type of person where I will won't even say anything to somebody I will just go up there and clock them in piece them in real quick and lay them down to sleep knock them out real quick and I don't like feeling like that I felt like that a long, long time ago, and I had to go to um, counseling and talk to a counselor for a long time, and I didn't want to do that again, because if I kept on hanging out with this person that kept on hanging out with these people, I would have probably ended up going to jail. That's honest to God truth, and I don't want to do that, because I feel they are dialers, and when I'm saying dialers, so I just had to get expo expunge them out of my life, basically, and I feel way better. I think that's why skating, you know, I was just 70%, you know, I was getting irritated with skating, but the reason why I was getting irritated with skating is because I was skating with people, you know, I didn't like. I like skating street, I like skating ledges, flat ground, you know, flat bars, when I get warm, you know, the I could have could have kept skating with my shoe blew out, but I'm just saying, I like skating the stuff that I skate, and I, I like skating the way that I like to skate. I love skating the way I skate. So if there's somebody out there is a hater on you and just, you know, just don't like what you're doing because you're being yourself and you're true to yourself, they're not the person for you. Or even, you know, even just random people. People get mad when you're yourself. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Man, that was a seven minute rant, but we're out here every Monday and Friday and every day in between. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start uploading like I used to because now I'm more focused on what I'm doing you know I I'm not trying to be in with the, the cool crowd I've never tried to be in with the cool crowd I've always just been myself this whole entire time my whole entire life so again we gotta make a t-shirt that says don't hate the player hate the game